you look good. Oh. Okay. Hello. It's me. I'm back. Surprise. I'm going to start making videos again because I really enjoy embarrassing myself on the internet. So if you can tell from the title of the video, I'm doing a uni haul because I'm going to uni in September and yeah, I bought all the stuff. I really enjoy watching these videos, so I thought like I'd film one. Anyway, I have this like whole big pile of stuff that I'm going to show you. It's not everything, but it's a lot of stuff and I have a list as well, which if I can work out how to link it below, I'll link it below if you need like a hand with starting stuff, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. I'll probably do like an introducing me video kind of thing just so you can get to know me if you are new and yeah, let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to start with kitchen stuff because that's on the top. So yeah, I'll start with the big stuff and then I'll do the little stuff, I think. So it's not in any particular order, it's just stuff I got and I got it most of this stuff from Ikea and I'll put the prices on the screen and where I got stuff if it's not from Ikea but I'll probably say it anyway, but yeah. So the first thing I got here is a, a drying rack thing, you know, to go next to the sink and I got this because um, I don't know if they provide one there but I also thought it'd be good to have my own because then I can leave my stuff in it to dry and not worry about taking up the space for other people, if that makes sense. I just thought, and it has a little tray at the bottom for like collecting the water that drips off it so I can put it anywhere in the kitchen and not worry about making a mess. The next thing I have here is a chopping board and it's just a wooden one from Ikea as per. I like it, I like chopping bread and that kind of stuff but I want to get some plastic ones as well just because I feel like if I cut like fruit it's gonna stain this and ruin it and I I really like this I don't want to ruin it this next thing is not from Ikea it's from I think I've got it from Amazon I don't know um, but it's just the T-Fowl essentials kit and uh, yeah it's got two frying pans and three pots and they all have lids and this is what we use at home, so we got it. Oh, I mean, we use these ones and Le Creuset ones, but those are expensive, so <laughs> yeah, I got these. And they're the non stick ones, and yeah, I think it was like 40 quid for the set on Amazon, so I didn't think that was too bad. And I didn't want to get the IKEA cheap ones because I want these to last me the whole time I'm at uni, so yeah, that, that was my thinking behind getting slightly more expensive pans yeah the next thing i have are my glasses and they are from ikea standard procedure they are the only thing that don't really fit my theme but they kind of go with it so that's okay um because they're purple but they look like this and they're quite small and i don't really i have a I'm really particular about glasses, like you know the normal Ikea ones that everyone has that look like, I'll insert a picture of what they look like, like those, we have those at home but I don't like those because after you wash them they start to like smell funny. <laughs> but yeah, I got six of those because it came in a pack for like two pounds so I was like fine I'll take like four to uni, keep two at home, whatever, I don't care. And then the next thing is not from Ikea but they're an essential thing you need. They're from Tesco's and it's just a set of three baking trays. Um, yeah, I got a tiny one, a medium sized one and a big one. And I predict the tiny one will be used the most because your girl doesn't cook for other people. I barely cook for myself, to be honest. Like I'm gonna be living off pasta and pot noodle though. Like. And then for crockery, oh my God, I just winded myself on these. For crockery, I got this big old set of plates and bowls and stuff uh, from Ikea and it's an 18 piece set like this and it's light pink which is like my theme colour so that's why the purple doesn't really fit in with it because it's like pink, I wanted everything pink so I could easily identify it as mine, does that make sense? I don't know, hopefully. Anyway, it's got six big plates, six medium plates and 
six bowls. Obviously, I'm not going to take them all with me. I think I'll take half of them with me and then I'll save the others for like next year or something. It just, it made more sense to buy the big pack while it was on sale. You know, I don't know how much it was, but it's there somewhere. And then this is my box of kitchen stuff. So I'll pull things out. Next thing is cutlery. Again, from Ikea, pretty much everything's from Ikea. It's uh, a 24 piece set and it's got like clear handles with bubbles on it because um, I read online that if you get cutlery that's like stainless steel, you like lose it. So you want something that's a bit more identifiable. And yeah, so I picked this one and I'm hoping that because I bought this really early, like before other people went uni shopping, like that it won't be there when other people go shopping so that they won't buy the same one. I don't know, that's my thinking anyway. And then the next thing I have isn't strictly kit, well it goes in the kitchen but it's not like an essential. But it's just one of those like thermal bottles. Like you know the Chili's ones but like I'm not spending 20 pounds on a bottle like, no that's stupid. Um, but this one was 7.99 from TK Maxx and it's really pretty and purple and like cute and I thought it'd be good for like having soup when it's cold so that I could take it to uni because I don't really drink coffee or tea but I like soup. Next up are my tea towels and I got them for the pink one clearly and it comes with the yellow one as well which is cute so whatever. And then the next thing are my oven gloves which is like this and they're pink and Hello. I ordered these off Amazon because in Ikea they didn't have any pink ones. They only had like grey and my theme is pink and grey but I feel like other people are going to get grey kitchen gloves. Oh, I got these thingies which I don't know if I'm going to use them but I think they were like a pound each and you like put them on the surface to put your pot on so that you don't ruin the surface and I thought that was a good idea and again they're pink. <laughs> what a surprise! Next I picked up the handy dandy ikea cheese grater i feel like everybody has this cheese grater and i love it because it, it like works as storage and i i love grated cheese like i don't really eat i only really have cheese when it's like in pasta or you know a pasta bake or something so i always have grated cheese but it's too expensive to buy pre-grated cheese all the time so i thought i could buy a cheese block grate it and store it in this mm. and i got it in blue because i didn't have pink next i have this can opener don't know from amazon because i didn't like the one in ikea it was too like i don't know i just thought it'd be a bit difficult and this one's like easy and it's the same one we have at home so next i have one of these thingies um it's called a dish mop and it has a sponge on the end and then you put the like liquid in here and i saw it and it was like one pound and i was like i want that the next thing i've got is this thingy and it's the only thing I've opened because I, was, I wanted to play with it but it's one of those steamer things and you put it in a pot and you steam vegetables on it and I got it because I thought it'd be like really hacky and like when I cook pasta I can put this like sit this on the top and steam vegetables as well yeah I just thought it'd be good because then I can use one pot for like a whole meal yeah and it, it it's cute and I wanted it I wanted a cool kitchen gadget, okay? That's pan and brush. And it's blue because it didn't have pink. Standard bottle opener. I've got a Pyrex bowl. And then to go with that, I just have the measuring cup. And I know a lot of people get the plastic ones, but like, if you need to put it in the microwave, a sieve. Do I look like Shrek? Oh, hello, yeah! Oh, next is my like kitchen equipment. It's all grey because I figured everyone's gonna get black, so I got grey, and my theme is like pink and grey, so I thought I'd get grey utensils, and you'll see the theme later on in the bedroom section. Oh, I accidentally bought a second cheese grater, and I was gonna take it back, but then I realized that this is good for like, just putting a bit of cheese on the top of my pasta. You know, I don't have to get the whole cheese grater out, it's just a little one, I can just do that. It's easier to clean, stuff like that. And then I got a little, casserole dish type thing because I like to make pasta bake yeah pasta bake is one of my favorite things to eat so I thought I'd get a um, dish to do that in and it, this is just a small one it's like enough for one person 
I also got a bigger one, which is grey, which matches my theme. But yeah, I got a big one for like if Sam comes over or if we want to make something as a flat or, you know, all that jazz. I just got the cups that match my dinner set. And I was just going to get two, but my mum was like, get four. So I got four. So I have four of those, but I'm not going to get all of them out because you don't need to see four of the same mug. And then lastly, I got like a plate and it's pink and it, it matches my like start I got it for like putting next to the cookie you know when you like stir something and then you put your um, spoon then you put your spoon on the side I got this so I could put this on I could put like my wooden spoon or whatever on there that is all my kitchen stuff I think moving on to bedroom stuff it's all here let's go through this stuff so the first thing I've got is one of these like B-shaped pillows and my brother has one on his bed and my mum has one on her bed and they're comfy and I like them and it's going to be my little, um, not replacement Sam, but like when I don't have him then I've got a body pillow kind of thing. I got two Ikea pillows and um, we, you know like you can go around and like feel the density of them I bought these two because they felt really nice and I I just wanted some like higher quality pillows and then I'm just gonna get some cheap ones from like Wilkinson's for the rest and then from Primark I got these little door hooks in white and like they had some cute ones but they're all rose gold and I I don't know I'm not really on that rose gold copper ting so I got those and they were like two pounds nice and then i also got a duvet but i'm not gonna get it out because it's like big but it's the ikea 7.5 tog duck feather one i don't know it's just what i have at home so i got the same one because i love it i have a mirror which is just this ikea one and it was 15 pounds and i think i'm gonna return it because I've seen a cute one in Wilkinson's, so. I got these little shelf things from Tiger and they just stick on the wall like command strip style. Um, and they're little clouds and I thought they'd be really cute to put like pictures in and stuff and just stick on the wall to make it look a bit less bare. And then I've just got like my bedding. I have a, a small double bed at uni. I don't think I mentioned that yet. No, so it's like, it's like a three quarter size bed is what they call it. But I just got double everything for it because it'll fit, I guess. But I got this um, striped grey bedding and it's called Nat Jasmine. And I thought I was umming and ahhing between this one and another one. But then this one had Nat in it and that's my name. So I was like, I'm going to get that one. I know, really cool. But it's like, it's it's one of the more expensive ones. I think it was like £30 or something. But it's, it's really soft and I... I'm really particular about my bedding, like I don't like cheap bedding, like I don't like the feel of it, but yeah, anyway. And then I got matching pillowcases, and um, I didn't get a fitted sheet, I got a, oh there's a cat outside, okay, it's not one of my cats though, yeah, um, I didn't get a fitted sheet, I got a straight sheet? What do you call this? A not fitted sheet? Yeah, it's not a fitted sheet basically. And I got this because um, one, they only had fitted sheets for double in a different grey that wasn't the same as the pillowcases and I just wanted everything to match. And two, because like I said, it's a small double. So I didn't know if a double fitted sheet would fit on it. And I don't really have a problem with folding the sheets I think I prefer these more than a fitted sheet I always struggle with a fitted sheet because I'm like five foot two so and then there's also a um, cover for the triangle v-shaped pillow yeah I also got a spare duvet cover from Primark here's me saying I don't like cheap bedding and I bought some cheap bedding but this is literally solely for the purpose of having on for one night while my bedding's drying like that's literally the only reason I'm going to use it and it's quite soft anyway so I thought it would be okay and then another thing that is from it's from Ikea but I didn't buy it I had it already in my wardrobe like I haven't been using it but I thought it would be useful at uni because there's not much wardrobe space and I'm just having 
two big wardrobes so yeah it's one of these like hanging things and it's kind of ugly it's got like the floral pattern on it because i got it when i was into like floral pastel eh, all that stuff um but i just got this to like put in my wardrobe because i wear a lot of jumpers and a lot of t-shirts and i don't really wear many dresses or things that need to be hung up the next thing for my room is from wilkinson's and it is a super soft throw 200 by 200 centimeters so it's a big old square and it's pink and it matches all my other pink stuff and it's cute and i just got it because yeah my room's gonna be like pink and gray but i wanted my bedding to be gray and then like my accessories to be pink so that I can take my bedding with me like next year and then change the colour if I want. I don't know, but it's really soft. I got a pack of 25 non-slip hangers from TK Maxx and um, pro tip, because I know everyone gets the Primark ones, but it's cheaper to get the ones from TK Maxx, like this was 7 99 for a pack of 25 and in Primark it's £4 for a pack of 10 so altogether it's like cheaper to get this pack. I don't know if I'm gonna need 25 hangers, but you know, they've got the bar across the bottom so I can hang my trousers on them too, which is what I'm thinking because I wear a lot of jeans and jeans take up a lot of space when they're folded. Next thing is bedroom related, but it's technically not bedding, but I got it and I'm not gonna use it till I go to uni, so it's in the bag. Um, and it's just my pajamas. Um, I really am on this like friends wave at the moment like I'd never seen friends before and then I watched it and I was like oh my god I love Monica anyway it's just the Primark friends pajamas and I got the shorts with it came with a different top but it was like really ugly so that got thrown away but yeah I got those and then I found a t-shirt in Primark which goes with it which says friends and you know it just has the umbrellas and yeah, that's gonna be my pajamas. I don't know what to categorize this, but I got this for Christmas and it's coming with me to uni. It's like tropical pong. So it's like beer pong, but with like cups of pineapples on and cups of watermelons on. And then it tells you how to play beer pong. And I just thought it'd be good for freshers week to get to know my flat and stuff. The next thing is this little wash bag thing and it's pink and it's uh, soft and I got it for Christmas. And I just thought I'd get a little wash bag for like if I come home for the weekend or you know if I want to keep like sanitary towels in it and it still looks cute if I don't have like drawers in my bed in my bathroom which I don't think I do I think this is the most ridiculous purchase I made because it was like five pounds and like I could have gone to Poundland and got like a one pound cup to use to put my toothbrush in but instead I bought this like stone one for like 4 99 from TK Maxx but it's pretty and I like it and it's got a bit of like marble patterning on I don't know if it's got like marble patterning on it or if it's just dirty but like we're gonna pretend it's marble patterning okay and then the next thing I have is also from TK Maxx and it's kind of all come apart because I was looking at it but it's this pack of towels and they're pink oh, surprise surprise and they're from Clark Avenue and it's a six piece set so there's two big ones two medium one and two flannels well two big ones two like hand towel size and two flannels and that's fine for me because I don't use towels to dry my hair I use a t-shirt it's meant to make it less frizzy but clearly it doesn't the last thing I have in here is from Ikea and it's my bath mat and it's just a pink one with like stripes on one side and I don't know, it's a non-slip bath mat, what am I going to say? Another thing I got for Primark, and I'm only going to have this up for a little bit because I don't think my boyfriend appreciates having the pictures of him on here, but it's it's like a little um, frame with like wire mesh, and the mesh is rose gold, so I'm a bit like, meh, but you know, you can't really see it because all the pictures and stuff are on it, and it was black, and I spray painted it pink to match my room, and I'm going to put that up with command hooks, and it was from Primark, I think it was like £6. The next thing is kind of big, it's a clothes era. It was £10 from Wilkinson's, so, no, it was £9, £9, wow, a whole pound different. Um, but yeah, it's like really big and it's three tier, it's a three tier deluxe era. The last thing I have here is my little bin and I don't know if they provide us with a bin, but I thought it'd be a good idea to just get a bin with a lid from my bathroom in case there isn't one and this is grey to match my theme it's a little pedal <coughs> yep. 
and it was five pounds from Wilkinson's. Yeah. So yeah, that is everything I've got so far. I'm sure there's more stuff that I've forgotten and I haven't got, but I wanna, like, this was just all the stuff that I wanted to get out of the way and then I'm, I'll get more stuff closer to the time. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment below what like, other videos you'd like me to make. Would you like me to make like a packing video? That would be boring. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and i will see you whenever i post my next video forgot to mention follow my instagram it's linked down below i've got an art one and i've got a normal one so go follow those um i don't use twitter and don't add me on snapchat that's weird okay bye